night, an extraordinary pilgrimage to see the Pope. A million people have come so far. In other news, the California legislature considers whether it should be illegal for pharmacists to refuse a prescription for a morning-after pill. From the Republicans in Congress, hundreds of awards for Physician of the Year. All it takes is a campaign contribution. And from Rome, the Pope's Tailor, where they are preparing new vestments in small, medium, and large. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Reporting tonight, Elizabeth Vargas. Good evening, Peter Jennings will be here at the end of the broadcast with a note about his health. We start tonight in Rome with the pilgrimage of the faithful. A million people have already been through St. Peter's Basilica since they moved Pope John Paul's body there yesterday. And this is a live shot of the enormous crowd awaiting to get in tonight. It continues. Rome has been the center of the church for 2,000 years. The historians say this is extraordinary. Our first tonight is from, report tonight is from ABC's David Wright, live from the Vatican. Good evening, David. Good evening, Elizabeth. The streets of Rome are heaving tonight. A tide of people washing over this city, quiet, respectful, and dignified as they pay their last respects, and the crowd keeps on growing. <laughs> The Vatican says 300 people a minute are filing past John Paul's body. That's 18,000 an hour. 400,000 a day. This morning, Elizabeth Trail and her friends arrived from Austria, where they're spending a semester abroad. It's been 14 hours in a bus to get here. We're spending the day to pay our respects to the Holy Father. Tonight, after this, they'll drive the 14 hours back to Austria. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. I would do it all over again. And the people keep on coming. Yesterday, the line stretched down the block. Today, it goes all the way back again. And authorities believe the largest group of pilgrims arrives tomorrow. Most of the Polish contingent, half a million strong, is still on its way. By week's end, some officials now expect as many as four million pilgrims from around the world, a crowd roughly equal to the population of Rome. Keeping control on the ground is already a challenge. At the Vatican subway stop, rush hour lasts all day. Even shopkeepers, now making a fortune, are complaining. Busier than normal, huh? Uh, so not normal business. No.